Thanks a lot. We're following a developing story in Fort Lauderdale. Environmentalists are fuming after a construction spill at the Los Olas Marina left the Intracoastal looking cloudy today. Local 10's Hans Avella reports on the damage done. It is the sound of progress. Construction along the Intracoastal, the future site of Las Olas Marina in Fort Lauderdale. This is what the $70 million project will look like. A three-story, 31,000 square foot building with an upscale waterfront restaurant, offices, a gym, and even a swimming pool. An economic impact of $221 million. But then there's also the environmental impact. Yesterday we started seeing pictures of a, a massive runoff event. That's Mike Lambrix, president of the Coastal Conservation Association of Florida. And these are the pictures he's talking about. The city says while work was underway at the site, construction crews damaged a water pipe. And look at the results. In this time-lapse video, environmentalists say because of the rupture, the water pushed all the silt and dirt into our waterways. Whether it's sewage or it's runoff or any other type of foreign matter that gets in our waters is devastating for the ecology. The city says Suntex, the contractor, is working with government agencies to figure out the impacts. You're likely going to be looking at trace heavy metals. You're likely going to be looking at oils. It kills off you know, our, our, our natural oyster growth. It, it, it affects the life of, of fish and other orga organisms. And it's not just an impact on the environment. Being the yachting capital of the world, concerns over the effects on these million dollar price possessions. A lot of people don't think about what that silt does when it makes its way into the raw water and air conditioning systems of a large yacht. And let's not forget, people come here for the water, which is why some neighbors say this is unacceptable. There's been constant silt and they try to they try to contain it with that silt fence, but it doesn't work. And while the city tries to figure out what happened here, environmentalists are already testing the water. Any new results, we'll let you know. But for now, reporting from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.